Hi, um, I've literally just been talking to a student and um, they have an issue with doing surfaces symmetrical across the car, i.e. a windscreen or a bonnet. So if you're looking to do um, a windscreen or a bonnet, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so this is kind of what you, you're kind of looking for. Uh, to to change anything, you can just um, move the CV. Now the horizontal curve is going across the car. I've got a symmetry tool on them, so I only have to move one CV, and it will symmetrically move the other side. Uh, and that goes for all aspects of this sort of thing. So I can then say, okay, I want to snap these two. Make sure I'm selecting the other one as well. So you can move. Oh, oh it's because it's detached there. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to create nice, clean, evenly spaced zebra stripes centre of a car. Because this appears to be quite an issue which the university lack to teach you. Anyway, so what I've done here, this is one example of doing it, I'll show you the other one as well. Um, I've created a curve, it's a three degree curve with one span, and I'll actually go through the process of showing you these. Oh, actually, I'll, just, I'll do the whole thing from scratch. So you see the whole process, and I'm going to go into side view. Actually, no, I'm going to go top view. Sorry, and I'm going to new curve. Now, when I, I'm going to double click this curve, I'm going to set it to curve degree one, and leave everything else like that. Okay, and then you can either snap to the grid by holding Alt, or you can just click anywhere. So that has created a one degree with one span. You never want more than one span. More than one is bad. You want degrees to change. So I'm going to change it to a three degree curve. And then you'll notice that has added two CVs in the middle, creating a three degree curve then oh sorry do that again I didn't accept the changes down here accept it's fine then in the side view I'm just gonna move those up creating whatever shape you're gonna do obviously it depends on whatever you're trying to do So I'll make this look more like something that's car like. So if I assume that this is going to be a, a wind, an A pillar. And then what you can do is select the curve. And then got I've put the mirror tool on here. If you want the mirror tool, go to edit, duplicate, middle click, drag, mirror tool. Or you can just do it in here. You can go to the options box. And it's going to mirror in the X and Z. So there we go, perfect mirror. Although you'll notice there's a weird kink in that, so that's a bad bad curve. Git curves are on it, it's kind of important. So, just straighten that up a bit. Do that again, select curve, mirror. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another curve. Holding control and click, it will snap to the end of the curve or a CV. Again, I've just done a one degree curve. And now I'm going to change this to three degree. The purpose of this is 
and I'll demonstrate now. As you can see there, that that when I accept the changes, those CVs are evenly spaced. Whereas if I were to do um, a change that so I've actually created three degree. If I were to do If I were to do these manually, I'm kind of guessing as to where I've got to put those, or I can manually do it via snapping to the grid. But for what it's worth, it's quicker and easier to get a more accurate one by changing the degree from a 1 to a 3, because then it automatically puts them at evenly spaced gaps. So that is a bad curve and it all makes a difference because if, if I were to do this this end and I were to move at that, that end and then if I were to build a square surface you'll notice it looks fine in that direction because those curves are the same and they match but if I go into the top down view there's a bit of a weird movement in the surface and if I were to mirror this, that surface you'll notice it's not symmetrical so it's kind of critical that your surfaces are created with symmetrical curves otherwise your surface isn't going to be symmetrical but don't worry about that if you've done that because if you select this tool symmetric modeling tool which you can find in palette object edit next to a line if you click on that tool and then select the CV what that does, based on one side, it will make it symmetrical on the opposite side. You can flip the master side, which means it will flip to the opposite side, as in the one that controls it. And you can pick any side, but you'll notice all you need to do is pick one side, and no matter where you move it, it will always stay symmetrical. So then you can do the same thing to this side. And you can move it up, you can move it down, you can move it out. And it's always going to be symmetrical. And then what I can also do is say I want to create, I want to be able to control the, the profile across the top of the roof. The roof. Uh, snap to one side by pressing Control and Alt and then left clicking then I'm just going to place that anywhere then I'll change that to a three degree as before and then what I'll do is selecting that CV I'll click on the symmetry tool and because this curve oop, because this curve is the symmetric opposite to that you know it's symmetrical I know if that CV there is snapped to that curve then that one will also be snapped to that curve because the curves are symmetrical. Then again, I can just select the one CV, pull it up. Now that can give me control of that, but this effectively means I have to do two surfaces uh, because the surface is always built out of four. So then I'll go to the square tool, double click the square tool so it pops up, and I'm going to change number one to employed curvature. That's going to be number one. And then I'm going to go around and that's created a surface. Okay. And then you'll notice if I were to go on the top and I pull these in, you notice the effect it starts to have on the stripes and how they bend and then also the height also affects the actual stripe 
and this is important to get an, as evenly spaced throughout as possible just so you, your zebra stripes go in the right direction or the way you intend them to go and then I'm going to do the tool again but this time number one is going to be curvature I'm going to select the square not the curve the actual square edge and then again go around and then what that's done it's created a surface that's in curvature and then that means that I've got a nice perfectly dead straight curve and surface and then I can also manipulate this so I can tweak that and refine that as and when depending on what I'm trying to achieve and that means when I go to shaded mode I'm not going to get any creases it's going to delete that locator which is what that curvature thing is and it appears as one surface because I know that's in curvature zebra straps are fine I'll try a different material see what, what effect that has that is how you create a windscreen or surface symmetrical across a product or a car um, yeah I'll leave that at that and then I'll go on to the next tutorial cheers